Hi everyone and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to talk about these little Bluetooth modules. Um, these are TTL to Bluetooth and um, you can use them with microcontrollers. You can connect one end to your microcontroller and then connect wirelessly with your phone or your computer or laptop to the other end or technically it's not a tangible end but whatever, it's wireless. Um, so why would you want to to start with? Well, at the moment I've not worked out how to actually flash a microcontroller using one of them, but you can use it for diagnostics. So let's say you have uh, some sort of application on a microcontroller and you want to uh, feed some sort of diagnostic data back to your uh, computer or whatever wirelessly, you can. You can uh, just simply connect this up to your microcontroller, uh, connect with your phone or your laptop or whatever and uh, just use a serial reader. Uh, some serial reader software on your device and the data will come from your uh, Arduino to your phone or your device and from your device back to the Arduino if you if you wish to do that. Um, so that's that. So this video has taken me about 10 hours to make. Um, it's not actually recording the video that takes that long. It's the research that goes into it. So the research for this has just been crazy. I mean, 10 hours is ridiculous. I spent half of yesterday just messing about for ages. Uh, it felt like I was never going to succeed. Um, one of the reasons for that is I've got two types of modules. I've got those ones and these ones. Now, if you have these ones, I'm not able to help you. I haven't got a clue what, how to get these ones working. I tried and tried and tried, and uh, for some reason they're just dead. I don't know if they're dead on arrival, if it's some sort of scam or whatever where where it's where they're just broken or whatever I don't really know but I can't get these ones to work these ones however were easier and these ones I could get to work so let's have a quick look at them and I'll try and explain uh, what they are now if you look closely at them it actually says uh, BK3231S and if you research that BK3231S you probably won't find a great deal. And neither could I. And that's one of the reasons why I really struggled with this. I couldn't find any info. However, I did notice that these have another name. Now, I don't really know how I noticed because there was actually no labelling on it to suggest anything. However, if you were to research JDY31SPP, you can find that that's actually this module. Now, again, I don't know why they're not labelled that way. But if you research that, you get some some sort of reference uh, on the internet, some sort of data sheet and um, it's very helpful. Anyway, so in this video I'm going to show you how to just create a very basic link between um, between your computer and a phone. And you could use a microcontroller and whatever but I'm just going to keep it very simple to start with. So we're going to connect up your computer to your phone. It's going to be really simple. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to wire up. Probably in another video we'll go a bit further and go from microcontroller to phone or something. But for now, let's keep it simple. Okay, so to do this video, we're going to need a breadboard, a serial converter, the module which I mentioned before, some jumper wires, and two resistors, one of which has to be double the resistance of the other. Oh, on a phone. So, first thing I'm going to do is push the serial converter in. Let's have a look at the pin out. So it is ground VCC RT. Ground VCC RT. So, ground, ground to ground. VCC to VCC. Is that right? I'll do it. Yep. Yeah. I do it. R and T. So skip R for the minute. And T goes to T X goes to R X. So here we need to uh, create a voltage divider. So what we want to do is we want the smaller value one to go from T X. Is that right? T X. Yep. So you want to go from TX right, to, to RX, but we want to go from RX to ground. 
and that's module that. wired up so I'll just make it a bit closer so you can see it's pretty simple really just a note if you've got this FTDI one uh, you'll have a jumper here to choose 5 volts or 3.3 volts I've chosen 3.3 volts because this is a 3.3 volt device and also this voltage divider here is for that same reason we've got one third and two thirds so um, two thirds of 5 volts is 3.3 volts so it's, it's perfect now I need to go over to the computer and I'll show you uh, something on that So when I was playing with these modules I read through loads of different spec sheets and stuff and it was just a nightmare, nothing was working until I found this one. And this is part of the reason how I know that this module I've got is JDY31. I won't go through all the details and stuff but if I just go over here to the important bits you can see the pin out and this here. Serial port sending 80 command must be added RN, right? So now, if you get a COM port up, by default the um, board rate is 9600, as you can see there, at 9600. So change it to 9600, choose NLCR, and to start with, let's just type something in. Now, many people on the internet are saying type in AT, but this is what happens if you type in AT. Nothing. So what I've been doing is I've been typing AT version. And if you type in AT version, it comes up with it. You can also do AT name. And you should get this response anyway, like I do. So you can see here that we've, we're connected to the module via the serial converter. And you can do all these sort of commands here. Um, AT name, board. You can actually set the board rates and all that sort of stuff. Um, AT, disc connect, um, AT disc is quite an important one, I'll explain soon. But you see, you can, you can change uh, and reconfigure things. Anyway, so we've got the Bluetooth console up. So what do we want to do now? Well, uh, you don't really need to do anything at the moment, unless you want to change the board rate or whatever. Okay. On your phone, go to Bluetooth. And turn it on, if it's not on already. And it should, um, it should search for... Bluetooth devices and our device should turn up in the list hopefully there it is so it's just appeared there JD31 I'm going to try to pair with it in a second it'll ask me for a password or it should do 1234 is the default click OK and it'll pair with it so now I can go back. Now I've tried different uh, pieces of software and none of them really work that well apart from this one. This is called BT Term S2 Terminal for Bluetooth. So I'll click Connect now. Choose JDY31 SPP and it says Connected. So I'll just type a message. I'll, I'll say Hello Send. Now I'll just check the serial console of Arduino and we'll see if it's got it. Yeah, it's got it, so... Type a message back. I'll just type back goodbye, so I'll say... I'll send a few hellos, make sure. Seems to be working fine. Yeah, it's working fine. Now, I'll say a few goodbyes. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Yeah, and you can see it's got it here. So I know this is a very crude setup, really. Um, it's basically from phone to this thing to a converter to your computer, which is not incredibly useful. It is very basic, but I just wanted to make a really simple tutorial, which would just make the thing work. Because, um, like I said, I spent hours trying to get the thing to work. So. If you do it this way, you can know that the thing actually works, you keep it simple, and it'll be easy. But from here, what you probably want to do is make it so that a microcontroller actually talks to this, which in turn talks to your phone or laptop or computer or whatever. Um, that's out of the scope of this tutorial, 
but in the future I'll probably do one uh, for this. And essentially what you'd have to do is you'd flash the, uh, the module, uh, not the module, the microcontroller, and in the code you'd probably use software serial, and software serial will probably communicate with this module here in order to send and receive uh, debug and commands to a phone or to your laptop or whatever. But like I said, that's material for another video. In this one I just wanted to keep it really simple. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Oh, and if anyone does find out how to use these, uh, please let me know. I'd be really interested to know.